Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial from Mr. Petromo. Today is the answer to the question that I've heard so many times about Nearpod's lessons. How can I stop my lesson at the end of the class period, even though I'm not done teaching it, and continue it the next day or later on in, in the school day? Um, can I do it? The answer is yes, there's a way to do it. So put your seatbelts on. We're going to do this one real quick. The first thing is you have to have two main settings set in your Nearpod. So to get to the settings, you click on your person icon, your um, account icon, and you go to lesson settings. And you have to have two things turned on. Enable students to autofill. So they were, will have to sign in with either their Google or their Office 365 accounts. And then you also have to have on allow students to resubmit answers in live participation mode. Those two things, if you have both of those on, you will be able to carry on a lesson. However, only in live participation mode. You will not be able to do this in student paste. So I'm gonna demonstrate. I have on my screen, I have a split screen going on. The left half is my teacher Nearpod account. The right half is my student uh, Nearpod account. So I'm gonna demonstrate on both sides of that. I'm gonna pick a lesson. And the lesson content is uh, unimportant. I'm going to activate a live lesson. Remember, only live lessons. And then I'm going to put the join code in my student. 5AW. And I'm going to join that lesson. It's going to prompt me to log in with my Google. perhaps before my next birthday. There we go. Log in with Google. I am going to click the log in with Google button and I am going to have that window where I'm going to select my student account, Trevor TikTok, and I'm going to click yes, please continue. And I'm going to log into my Nearpod lesson. And there we go. Now my teacher can get that lesson started. Excuse me, I can advance those slides. I'm not going to actually go into this lesson too much other than to draw some answers in here so you can see. All right, and then I'm going to submit that. And then I can see right here that it's submitted. I'm going to advance to the next slide. And I'm just going to skip around so that you can see what this looks like. Okay, and I can submit that. And now, oops, we've run out of time. It's the end of the hour, we've run out of time. Now, what you can do, and this is what I've done, there's a few different ways, but I just close this tab right out. Close that tab right out. And the kids can close their tabs right out. Just don't even finish the lesson. Just stop right there. Close that tab right out. And then you can make a new tab. So when you are ready, you can go back to your Nearpod account. And I'm going to go back to that Abraham Lincoln lesson. And I'm going to click that open. And I'm going to choose live participation. And instead of launching a new one, don't launch a new one. Click on this old one and hit resume. So this is going to open up that lesson. Again, I'm going to go on my student account. And I'm going to put that same code in. Sorry about that. I'm going to put that same code in, PE5AW. And I'm going to join back as my student account, my same student account, and poof. There's my answers here. And I can edit them. I can erase them. But it saves my work from yesterday here. So the teacher can go back. And you can go back to that lesson that you were on. And here is my answers from yesterday. And I can continue to 
write more. Not very good at writing with my mouse. Then you can use the eraser to erase your answers from yesterday if you like. And voila, I can resubmit my answers and I can wait for the teacher and I have resumed my live lesson from yesterday. So there you go, there's a way to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you next time. <laughs>